In our previous video, we discussed what the probability mass function and the probability density function are. In this video, we will discuss what the cumulative distribution function and the percent point function are. Let's say we toss a coin 10 times and the random variable x denotes the number of times heads appear in the results. Now, let's say we want to find out the probability of obtaining heads 2 or fewer times. In other words, we want to find out probability x less than equal to 2. We can find out the probability using the cumulative distribution function of x. The cumulative distribution function of a random variable x evaluated at small x is the probability that the random variable capital X will take values less than or equal to small x. In other words, fx is equal to p x less than equal to x. So, in our example, we are tossing a coin 10 times. x is a discrete random variable. So, we can write f of 2 is equal to p x less than equal to 2 is equal to summation i is equal to 0 to 2 probability x is equal to i or that is equal to probability x is equal to 0 plus probability x is equal to 1 plus probability x is equal to 2. Please note that if we toss a coin 10 times, the total number of possible outcomes is 2 to the power 10 is equal to 1024. We can get 0 head in only one way. Now, we can get one head in the result in 10c1 is equal to 10 ways. And we can get two heads in the result in 10c2 is equal to 45 ways. So, probability x is equal to 0 plus probability x is equal to 1 plus probability x is equal to 2 is equal to 1 by 1024 plus 10 by 1024 plus 45 by 1024 is equal to 56 by 1024. So, if we want to find out the probability that a random variable capital X will take values between A to B where A less than B, we can do so using the cumulative distribution function of the random variable capital X. Probability A less than X less than equal to B is equal to F of B minus F of A. So, in our example, if we want to find out the probability that heads will appear more than 2 and less than or equal to 4 times, we can find that out using the cumulative distribution function. Probability 2 less than x less than equal to 4 is equal to f of 4 minus f of 2. That is equal to probability x is equal to 3 plus probability x is equal to 4. A percent point function or a quantile function on the other hand specifies the value small x of a random variable capital X such that the probability of capital X being less than or equal to small x equals the given probability p. In other words, for the quantile function q, we can symbolically write q of p is equal to small x such that probability x less than equal to small x is equal to p. In other words, the quantile function q will return the value small x of the random variable capital X such that the probability that the random variable capital X takes values less than or equal to small x is the given probability p. So, in our example, let us say we want to find out small x such that the probability that x or fewer heads appear while tossing a coin 10 times is 56 by 1024. We can easily find x using the percent point function or the quantile function. We have just found out that if we toss a coin 10 times, the probability that two or less heads appear is 56 by 1024. So, q of 56 by 1024 is equal to small x such that 
probability capital X less than equal to small x is equal to 56 by 1024 and that is equal to 2. So, if fx is the cumulative distribution function of a random variable capital X such that fx is equal to probability capital X less than equal to small x is equal to p then f inverse p is the inverse distribution function that returns a real number small x for which fx is equal to probability capital X less than equal to small x is equal to p and this f inverse p is the quantile function or the percent point function. So, in our example, the probability that we get two or fewer heads while tossing a coin 10 times is equal to f of 2 that is equal to probability capital X less than equal to 2 that is equal to 56 by 1024. So, q of 56 by 1024 is equal to small x such that probability capital X less than equal to small x is equal to 56 by 1024. That is equal to f inverse 56 by 1024 that is equal to 2. Please note that a percent point function is also called a quantile function, percentile function or inverse cumulative distribution function. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more, please refer to the playlist statistics for machine learning or visit the website of the security body. You may also want to subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.